what's going through his head at this moment. An experienced looking routine. Yet he's anything but experienced. Maxi Munier is a trainee racing driver. In the newly converted Chevrolet Cruze, the talented Swiss youngster is entering the ADAC Cruise Cup 2010. His big dream to one day be a top driver at the very top in Formula One or in the DTM Championship or to drive in the absolute classic of all, the Le Mans 24 hour race. But the way there is long and bumpy. 17-year-old Maxime is aiming to earn his first spurs in the new Cruise Cup Beginners Series. I think it's uh, really uh, beneficial because uh, we can really learn. Uh, we can learn how to drive without spending too much money. And there's lots of races. I think there's 10 race weekends. So it's really good compared to the really expensive series where you really have to win straight away. And here I can really learn and learn to get quicker before doing anything really important. The apple never falls far from the tree. Maxime's father is none other than Alain Menu, two times BTCC champion. A final few tips from the pro for junior and teammate Gilles before they're released into the top school of motorsports. I'm very, I'm very pleased with it. I think it's going to be uh, very interesting also to share the car with somebody else. Um, it means that you need to take care of the car before you pass it over to your, to your teammates. So uh, I think it's going to teach, teach drivers quite a lot. Teaching and learning, the key words for the young and young at heart at the first official test, where they go through every stage of a Cruise Cup long distance race. Before they're off, teams and vehicle have to pass technical approval. Two things get checked here. First, the protective clothing. This is afforded top priority even in the minor race categories. What we're checking now is that the clothing conforms to the FIA standards. That is, that the driver has adequate protection from fire in the event of an accident. FIA standards as for the big boys. Balaclava, overalls, helmet, in the cruise cup, everyone brings their own. Only if everything's present are they cleared to go. While the inspectors do their work inside, outside the latecomers are turning up. Amongst them, the mechanics from Vichos Sport. They gave the Chevy its race setup and are also excited about its maiden motorsport drive. First, technical approval part two. The cruise needs weight, so it's onto the scales. We're currently in the process of weighing all the cruisers so that we can define the vehicle weight for the rule book. 1270 kilograms excluding driver. That's the official fighting weight. Then the car can finally hit the asphalt. A free drive for the cruisers. Everyone's battling on equal terms. That is, Dunlop tires and one engine type for all. 1.8 liter capacity, 140 PS and 176 nanometers of torque. The task now to check handling and sound out the limits. It's new territory. Well, I've never driven another car before, so I don't know if it's good, but on the last run it was much better, and I had a lot, uh, lot of fun, so it looks quite good. Fun on the track is followed in the evening by an obligatory driving school class for race beginners. Track conduct, flag signals, and cruise cup rules. Swatting for a full throttle adventure. You can see from their faces that this day in the world of motorsport is taking its toll. In the end, they're all glad to get some well-earned sleep. Race day surprises all with inclement weather. Rain, wind and cold dominate training and qualifying. For the cruise car rookies and entrance from other areas, a true baptism of fire. It's really fun and you can see what limited ability you've got when you're overtaken and it seems like you're standing still. A few of them are fantastic drivers. Start number one and place number one. That's absolutely perfect. Dismayed by contrast over at Maxime's team. He misjudged the slippery surface. The result, a first acquaintance with the gravel. Luckily, the only damage is cuts in the tires. 
despite this mishap, his car is on the grid on time. The Cruise Cup is a long distance race series. Each race day there are three runs, each lasting 45 minutes. Each run requires two pit stops with stationary time of three minutes. At the end of the day, the results of each run are added up and that determines the winner. A podium finish or even victory is not to be Maxime Menu's today. At this dress rehearsal, however, the result is fairly secondary. As for targets for the season, Maxime has clear goals. Finish races and maybe at the end of the season, the last few races, try and go quicker and challenge the best people. And to learn how the 17-year-old and the others do during the Cruise Cup season, we'll keep you up to speed.